Today we will look at English word frequencies. The data source I'm going to use is this fascinating article written by Peter Norvig, where he counts up the words in the entire Google Books Ngram dataset after being encouraged by Mark Meisner and his similar work from the 1960s. Over 743 billion words were found in Norvig's sample, compared to Meisner's 20,000. 97,565 distinct words made over 100,000 appearances, and those are the words we're going to look at now. I'm going to display each word as a bubble. The size of the bubble will show you how frequent the word is, and the color is determined by the word's starting letter. But before I show you the data, I want you to guess what the most common English word is. If you already know it, try to guess the top three. Anyway, let's go. So it appears the is the most common English word. With over 53 billion appearances, it displayed a clear lead over second place of, and rounds off the top three, followed by two in and a, all surpassing two percent. Then there's a sharp drop to seventh place, where we find a somewhat coherent sentence. Is that for it? As gets honorable mention for missing the top ten by only 0.005 percent. In the top ten, we find. Four prepositions, two articles, two pronouns, one conjunction, and one verb. Also, all words except for that are three letters or shorter. That's clearly below the average among all words, which is 4.79 letters, and far below the average among all distinct words, which is 7.60 letters. Why are the top words so short? Well, shorter words tend to be more general and have many more uses. Whereas longer words can only describe something very specific, so they're used very rarely. But that leaves me wondering: what is the most common long word? We could separate the bubbles by word lengths to find out. Let's start by looking at just one-letter words, and then two-letter words, and work our way all the way up to twenty. Remember that words with only more than 100,000 appearances show up here. There are certainly many more 20-letter words that exist. Now that we've looked at the lengths of words, let's look at genders. English has a bit of gender bias, with he appearing almost three times as much as she. Although this could be in part because he can sometimes mean unspecified gender. However, take a look at his versus her. His is only 2.2 times as common. That's not the same three-to-one ratio. What's going on? Do females own more things than males? That's probably not the reason. Her can be possessive, as in her car, but it can also be a pronoun, as in I saw her. Switch the genders, and we've got two separate words: his car and I saw him. So when we tally up all the hers in the English language, we're lumping together both possessive and pronoun hers. If we do the same with his and him, we get the same three-to-one ratio as before. Hooray! Oh, also, don't forget to add hers into the mix too. So that's part one on my video on words, and part two is coming really soon. I also have some other news. We're selling name bubble posters now. If you go to the link in the description, you can choose from over 500 posters. 
customize it by setting the gender, birth year, and background color you want. They're extremely high resolution. To give you a sense, here's the full poster and here's up close. There's so many tiny bubbles you can see that every time you look you'll see something new. So yeah, if you want to support us, or if you just want a nice looking poster in your room, go check it out. Anyway, tune in next time, when we'll be looking at words in numbers and books.